Um, very good. Uh, do you? So you just try and make it in one afternoon, then get back? No, uh, yeah. if I, I call. Well, I call when it starts to get to be camping time, and if we're not I'm, there yet, I tell them that we should camp unless we're really close. You you would be really close. Okay, so we keep on. going. That's fine. And okay. Like I said, I wanted to as talk talking, to Lucas and just like see what he is, what he does, what he was out traveling around the woods for. Well, hold on, hold on, Kevin, because I think Josh was going to talk to oh. Amareth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't nothing major. I was just going to ask for a favor in the next morning, if it was possible. Oh, good lord, Lauren. What do you want now? No, no, no. I was just wondering, you, you have the power of healing. Do you have the power of knowing what's magical and what's not? Well, yeah, of course I do. Um, would you be able to look at a couple of things in the morning for me? I could do it right now if you want me to. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, this shield, this turtle shield and this spear, could you check it for me? Um, just wait till we get a little bit closer to where Agrius and his friends are, and then, and then we can do that. Yeah, let's How about wait that? to camp, guys. We have a lot of stuff to yeah. talk about. Sweet. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Continue walking. <laughs> You, you're gonna you're gonna try and not let Durian get his hands on that. That's what you're trying <laughs> no, to do. No, no, no. He knows from last time, so he's like, hey, "Okay, let's try someone that's more trustworthy and tell me the truth." <laughs> she lied last Am- time. Amareth has told us almost nothing about her life. I don't know if I believe this facade <laughs> no, I of play. No one Amareth's hey, life. I Besides know. Me, no one said anything of that life. This is no one's true. asked Durian. It's true. We all, we all okay. see really hate each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, we don't all get arrested and... for murder. Yeah. <laughs> alleged, alleged right. murder. I alleged think we didn't murder. know anyone. Uh, but yeah, you guys, um, don't run into anything major. Uh, it's quite a trek for uh, Lucas, as he's you know still pretty badly injured. But I assume you guys probably help him along a bit. By the way, is he still tied up? What did you no, 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 did no, you no, remove no. all his ropes? Yeah, they all his ropes. Tied up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. So you guys, uh, okay, you guys uh, make it back to the caves that the centaurs are in. Okay. And um, awesome. Agrius kind of uh, trots out to greet you. What happened, my friends? You look quite worse for the wear. Man, you guys are all frozen. Wait, where am I? Terrible uh, things, Agrius. Terrible things. <laughs> it's been very eventful, friend. Let's just say. Let's just say we oh. think we took care of the cobalt problem. Are you serious? How many did you run into? Oh dear. I was in catching are. back up with my tribe, and they said there were many more than originally. Plus, with the ones that have been attacking us throughout the last couple how, days. How many did like you take? There's six per group, right? Yeah, I asked, I asked Orin how many he slayed. There, there was about, there was about <laughs> like 20 of them. I slayed about nine, I think, Caven. You shot how many? Like three, four? I think I shot five. like 50. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> we um, we give so we give I see. Agrius a tally of what we slayed or what they slayed and ask if that sounds like all of them from what he heard. That is that is impressive, my friends. I I knew you were strong warriors, but I did not expect you to take them all on. By Neither yourselves. did we. Neither did we. This was uh, not supposed to happen this way. That does not sound like all of them, though. Did any escape when you had fought them? Yeah, some uh, got away. A handful. But we we made sure we killed the uh, the big leader guys. Which was I very see. important, and that's for sure. I see. It's like we said. I we don't think we killed all of them, but we they 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 ran away, and none of them none of them came back while we were there. Were they not willing to negotiate after you had slain several of their... Well, I must imagine they would not have been happy at that point. They Did were, you speak they, with we don't them really negotiate. <laughs> they, they ambushed us, Agrius. We were not in a good position. 
We were noisy coming through the forest. Amorth looks a little bit ashamed at that. <laughs> did, did not have a chance to plan a very good scouting strategy. What turned out to be a, a cautious approach ended up being a full-pitched battle where we, uh... Well, anyway. Well, some of us... Some of us uh, had a close call. Like myself, were not so cautious in the beginning. <clears throat> so... I see. Well, yeah. it is unfortunate that so much blood was shed, but they have invaded our forests. I cannot profess to feel too bad about it. Oh, I, I feel don't think you have a problem anymore. Thank you, friends. I, I do not know what I can offer to repay you for this. Uh, oh, and there's some hidden pits dug around the town you should watch out for. Ah, thank you. We will be careful as we go back. I would ask your friendship and nothing more. I would ask for whatever reward you feel is suitable to those who have nearly died. Durian, nearly king, died. reward us. <laughs> Large wink. Large wink. Large, Large wink. wink. <laughs> Guys, the old, the old, you know, dirt speck in the eye trick doesn't work, all right? And I turn back to Agar as I say, no, honestly, I, and I, I kind of like look up at him and I'm like, I, uh, we would have need of perhaps your, your wisdom on the morrow. We have some discussion to do amongst ourselves tonight, though. I see. There may be some help I can give to you, but... I must discuss it with my tribe. It is too dark to head back now. Would you like to stay with us tonight? That would be most welcome. Though we, I, I have a need of a little privacy amongst friends. We, we've received some troubling news that I have not had a chance to share with them yet. I see. Of course. Take Kevin, care. Kevin, are you, can you hear everything? Yeah, we can hear you guys. Okay. Yeah. Take any time that you need. No, I think we will we will join you and, and your tribe on the way back to the village on the morrow. And uh, perhaps discuss with you decisions. He kind of looks at the human he doesn't recognize and the goblin and says, I see. Take, uh, let, let us know if there is anything we can help with. Certainly. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Elf of course. Nod. And I do a little awkward bow yeah. to Agri. Yeah, and he uh, he walks over to um, Oren and lays his hand on your shoulder and uh, heals you for uh, six HP. Yay. Let me know what else I can help with. Guys, uh, I think we... We're going to make camp. Anything we need Agrius' yeah. help with? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. So, let's okay. Go. Let's, so, you know, let's go make camp. Yeah, so first chance of after making camp, I'm going to drop this goblin. Like, okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot you had him. I, I assumed you, pants. like, put him down when... Okay, whatever. Yeah, you, you guys uh, make camp a little ways away, or what What are you doing exactly? Um, Just within own... shouting distance, but out of earshot, I guess. Okay. That's the best way to put it. That is, that that is, is a, a great way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Props for that. Yeah, so it's okay. only, like, 20 feet away, maybe. But yeah. that's fine. <laughs> cool. So what do you guys do? Set up camp. So um, just set up camp, things. make a yep. meal. I uh, continue. I uh, at some point I address Lucas, but I address him in Elven and I say, "Are you fine? Are you feeling better?" I'm. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I say again in Elvish. Are you fine? I'm. I apologize. I I don't know what language you're speaking. Lucas, that's, I say that's quite all right. Durian, he's a human. Come on. Uh, well, we found one rarity, and I sort of gesture to Oren, but... <laughs> yeah, Trent, 
You your rarity is the fact rarity. that I have to negotiate with both elves and dwarfs. I say, sir, we we are going to have some discussion, and um, perhaps for your... We don't know you yet. I apologize for putting it so bluntly, but we don't know you, so we may be talking, and you may not understand much of what we say, so I hope that's okay. I'm going to gesture that's towards fine. Grimgar and ask if we should... Uh, probably tie him to a tree away as from where we're discussing things. Uh, as Jimmy gets out a corkscrew. I'm sorry, I had it like next to me from opening drinks, and I was like, hmm. Wait, oh, what? Oh, Grimgar. Oh, you can see each other's video? Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I've been fine all night. Yeah. So. Why is it frozen for me? It's because you work for Microsoft. It's cause, yeah, because you work for Microsoft. <laughs> No, like, um, I'm just gonna stand like right above Grimgar. And, like so I don't think tying up's gonna be a problem for now. I'm gonna say okay. no. He should be close. We're gonna ask him questions, he, but we should keep yeah, talking he, in Elvish, he, I think. So, so I sit. We're all sitting around the campfire, and I say to, uh, I say to, Gri I say to the party in Elvish. We're kind of all like recuperating. I'm like, so Grimgar had an interesting tale to tell. Kelsey. Yeah. He, um, Explain more well, to them, at least I sort of. We know out. first. We know first that um, the boss that's mentioned in the note, when it says, "and the boss sending the meatheads to harass the elves," the boss is a goblin by the name of Griphook, or a goblinoid type creature that I know of. Hmm. But all of these goblins are uh, are actually. Um, uh, unwilling emigrants, I would say, like they've been kicked out of their homeland in the uh, in the mountain, the mines, and the towards the west, the north and west, kicked and out. Um, kicked out in bulk and mass. And in fact, they're raiding in this area, as far as I can tell, has been largely opportunistic, but with the goal of arming themselves because the kobolds drove them out. What did they do? Like, piss off stone giants or something? Kobolds drove the goblins out. Well, not just kobolds. We've already seen lizard men, and um, Grimgar here claims that it's a dragon that's commanding the kobolds. What? A dragon? Is... A dragon. What? I mean, I, have... I know you mentioned a dragon earlier, but commanding them? Like, like a big... Dragon. Like a dragon. Flying... Ancient, magic, I, I call over to Grimgar and say, I, I call over to Grimgar and Goblin and des describe the dragon. I say, kind of. I'm okay to speak. Grimgar, oh yes, you're, you can speak for the moment. But have you eaten no. anything, by the way, Grimgar? No. Would you like some food? Yes. So I, I like whatever, whatever, like sort of. Pottage or thing that we're kind of like yeah, munching yeah. on. Yeah, you're you're like cooking up dinner as you go. I assume do you do you give Lucas any? Oh yeah, of yeah, course. Cool. No. cool. You're, you're feeding Lucas. Cool. You, you haven't fed Grimgar. But I, f I I like give a little bowl of something to Grimgar that he has to sort of like. Yeah, he's like sort of like this. Yeah, he kind of scoops some in quite hungrily. <laughs> um, so while he's like feeding himself, I'm like Grimgar, describe the dragon, and I'm going to translate your words. It's not as big as you'd think it'd be. A little, a little bigger than an ogre. He says it's not very a very large dragon. How big? Does, does it say what color it is? This is ogre very important. Si ogre size. Ogre Grimgar, size? what color is it? Bright red. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I turn back and I say, do I know anything of... I, I would know probably as a bard something of dragon lore, right? Mm, no. Okay, no. so I say... You can says, you can roll a knowledge arcana check, but as I mean, a bard, you don't just get to know. Okay, I, I didn't know. I, like you said, I didn't know how common things were in this world. So. Not uh, Dragons are very... Like, they're known to exist, and one is specifically known... To associate with. Oh people. shit! Nice. Nice. You yeah. know. Okay. So what? What do you want to know? What is your question? I want to know the significance of the color of the dragon, if possible. Or what do I know about dragon varieties? 
24. Uh, you know that red dragons are generally evil and pretty tough. You'd know they breathe fire. Um, I turn back and I say, well, he says it, it sounds rather small. He says, Grimgar, although I don't trust his judgment much, is, uh, says it's about roughly this lo- not too much bigger than an ogre. That's pretty that's, small. That's still, yeah. that's, yeah. that's still it's 10, young. 12, 15 feet. He might be wrong, though. But, um, it's, uh, like it's, it's, it's red. Hmm. Mm. I've not heard anything of red dragons, I think. Does it have a name? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> my Sorry. <wife>. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> Durian, ask but if he has a name. Is, is it Gr- Smog? Or Grim- Fog? Grim- Grimgar. <laughs> no, Grimgar. no, that one kicked the dwarves out. Gr- Grimgar, does this dragon's name end with Og? <laughs> Fog or Smog? I don't know. <laughs> is his well, name perhaps Log? But it's a <laughs> the kobolds just call him. They just call him the Great Red. Oh, that's right. They just, yeah. He just called. Oh, the, he's just called. Guys, he's just called Big Red. Yeah. Um, that's that's what they call him to me. I don't. I don't know if he. I don't know red. his name. Well, but this guys, I mean, he he doesn't look that big, but he was kind of. Flying above the ogre village, we we saw him from a distance. Oh. He was kind of burning the whole thing to the ground. So, so I turn back to. For a closer look. I I turn back to Orin and I say, well, the dragon's capable of breathing fire and burning large ogre villages. So I think mm. Grimgar's information. Orc, orc has, villages. Sorry, orc, sorry, sorry. I've been saying orc, orc villages. So I say, um, so I don't know how reliable the size measurement is, but. He sounds nasty. Also, so you guys know, Grimgar is actually a scribe, apparently. So he, um, perhaps a little bit more intelligent than your average goblin. Hmm. Well, what it sounds like, it seems like, well, King's Quest complete. We think we know what's causing all the problems recently. I'm gonna say it's a big dragon, or oh, small dragon. Do you think big to goblins? Wait, wait, wait! Time out! Time out! We're we're. We're a bunch of crazies, <laughs> and we're willing to, to, you know, head out into the wild and have no problem running into centaurs and clearing out villages of kobolds and lizard men. Do you remember how those guards handled the centaurs? You know, perfectly tame, intelligent creatures. Do you think they'll believe that dragons are to blame for their what they want to be political unrest? Well, he makes a point. You know, I would assume the next step would be uh, we. Did, does he actually? Good question. Where is he from? Like, if this dragon is taking his home, surely he must be able to tell you where he resides. He said he resided in the Grimgar. You you said he resided in the west of uh, this region. You know the term, the name Palatinus. Yeah, that's just human. All the human stuff on this side of the mountains, right? You, uh, yes, and you you live in the mountains to the west of Platinus, right? Yeah. Or, di- yeah. or did, anyway. Oh, well, dear. Yes, that's that's where our caves were. Uh, up high in the mountains. We were above the orc villages. So I turn back to the party and I give this information. I'm like, yeah, they're from the high in the mountains on the border of Platinus and Taurus. Well... It seems like the only next logical step was basically to investigate, not necessarily fight the dragon, but surely we can at least Warren, investigate what his claims. I Whoa. investigate a dragon. Okay, sounds simple. No, no, no. I didn't say fight a dragon. I said investigate. You yeah, know, Orin, I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. I do not think we can go to the king with a goblin's tail. I I tend to believe Grimgar. He's a a coward, but pretty smart. Uh, but I think I, you're right. I think we head. I think we head west from here and well, see how. Because there's going to be more kobolds. Many, many more. It sounds like if an army's uh, been raised. Well, first 
uh, even with what we got, I think we need to at least form King Henry. Like maybe in private, so that we can just tell him that we're going to look into it even more. Sarcastically, to... Amareth butts in and says, "No, I think we should just hold a meeting with the whole town and announce it to everybody." Obviously. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? They're like, "We need to stop and point this before we go." The king has to at least know what could potentially be happening. I don't find very much importance in informing the king, but Amareth, Cabin, what do you think? I think going back to Platinus first would be a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. You think we should go to Platinus first? Mm. At the I very least, at the very least, Lucas needs to go home, and we can hand this guy over to the guards. Okay. Well, I would just advise that we had a pretty big shakeup, and there's we moved quickly, but there sure ain't no Platinus city guards or army here that helped us with the fight. We took it on our own. I don't. I'm still not trusting of the king. I understand, fair enough. I find so that I'm not like, trusting of yeah. much lately, so well, I'm not gonna. What do you, what do you want to do with uh, what's his name, Gorik? Grim Grimgar. Grimgar. Yeah. If we were to say... west, what, what would you say for Grimgar? Have us just lead us there, and I would have him lead us towards his old, his old uh, strongholds, and we could. Perhaps move quietly and uh, don't cautious, get me. <laughs> uh, move cautiously and and gain more knowledge before we, with our own eyes, before we report to the king. Uh, can we see the world map for a second? Actually, I'm trying to figure out what town's closest to us from. You know, Darren, I sure. I think you've swayed me. I think going to go over there and check that out would be good before. Here. All right, yeah, I, we're we're pretty long ways away. I have an idea, and I think I'm going to start using my pool that I have uh, as a prince. We need to go to Hammond's Crossing. What? Hammond's Crossing is the what? start, I guess. Your pool? Like, you want to swim? Well, your nice, fancy, well, like... I, I, no, no. Pool, as in, um... You your know sway. What I, mean. I, I, got, I got what you said. Your yeah. sway, yeah. Like, like, where did he say well, their, their, their village was, or their... They're on the border, so or Kevin or Kate. I don't know if, who's asking the question, but like they're on the the they're the white the... high in the mountains along the border of Platinus and Taurus, and we're okay. over here right, right. somewhere. Okay, just making sure. So like half across, or mostly across the country west. Okay. Like we have, we're basically representing the king. If we go to Hammond's Crossing, it's very possible I can get us some horses under his name. I like I like free horses. I, I do. I, I do Not free well. horses. We would only be buying them towards That's the Great Black. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good lord all those dice, Travis. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know how I feel about this. Um no rocks, but anyway. Rocks fall, you all die. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no, I like that. Up. Heading I think we should get more information before heading back to the king, because all we have is a goblin saying things. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It does explain a lot, though. And he could probably be of use to find out as we get closer, and this is once true. we get there. If we hand him over to the guards, we're probably never going to see him again. Yeah. Not to mention that we, uh... Like, I don't know about you, but we know the rumors of the trouble in the mines. It's... The rumors we've heard is that Taurus is agitating and causing oh, problems. So we don't really we don't really know what's going on. And Cobalt's right. weren't part of the rumors. Yeah. Actually no, it was orcs that were part of the rumors. Right. We don't actually know we don't know why the Cobalts have moved to this area to the east. Either. That's yeah. another mystery that we have to figure out. Didn't you say they were working for the dragon? Well, yeah. but sure, but what's their goal in being, okay, so why did they, they kick out the goblins and send them east and presumably south and the orcs? Why why did they capture territory around here? What's their goal? No, I assume if it is a dragon, it's just going to try to amass power. It's home. 
it sounds like it's a Yon Dragon, so it's like trying well, to. Well, as far as you know, from home. this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. How do you know? It's, how do you how do you know it's a Yon Dragon? Because uh, from the dragons I know of Legend, they're really, really big. Not like mm-hmm. something that's got referred to as ogre size. It's not even a way well, that I know of. To he said dragon. somewhat bigger than ogre size, but how do you know dragon? Do, do you have dragons? That's in a your... good question. Yeah. Uh, Taos, or you, you know that you're postulating at this point. I, I know tales of former kings. I've heard and these I, things. And about I know dragons. tales of fanciful creatures from alternate dimensions that no mortal can see except when he's drunk. And yeah. <laughs> if anybody gets that reference, I'm both pleased and embarrassed. But <laughs> I don't, actually. Uh, I just thought it was funny in general. My, my fiancé and I are watching, or I just finished season seven of Supernatural, so it's a reference uh, from Supernatural. Oh. I did not get yeah. that. Cool. Either way, I, I think that we need to prepare for in the morning we head to Hannah's Crossing. I agree. Sure, why not? Mm. So what do you guys <laughs> do all during the night, then? Um, but while, uh, while we're rest. swapping our powwow, I want to bring up the uh, armor that Dern and I brought with it. And Amherst, too, I guess. Sure. I doubt all three of us carried it, but... You know. nice. We b- split up parts or something? I don't know. We, we, ca- we brought it here somehow. Yeah, yeah, you carried all the crap there. Yeah, I guess... So I... Show arm. Pilot- Oh, we pile it in the center, and I say, um, I say, uh, this is maybe worth a good hundred gold, maybe a little bit less, but uh-huh. it's got some value to it. Maybe not as our own wear. I've got to go, when we get to Hammond's Crossing, I've got to repair my armor, and I kind of, like, wipe the flaked blood off me. Yeah, your, your armor's pretty well shredded at this point. Um, well, you were, because you were wearing leather, studded leather? Yeah, so. studded leather. Yeah, so yours is pretty, pretty cut up. Do I take if we like got into a fight tomorrow morning? Do I get an AC penalty? Travis, um, I sent you a whisper, by the way. Yes, but I'm not sure how much that would help, Allison, okay. Amareth, and um, I'm going to say yes. Actually, you got hit with claws right in the chest enough to knock you down to zero. So I'm going to say you're damaged um, minus I'm one, gonna, minus yeah, two. I'm, I'm going to say minus one. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I would have accepted d- as much or more. That's yeah. Cool. So you'll you'll take a one AC penalty. It doesn't hamper your movement or anything. Um, it's just yeah, the armor's not very effective. Yeah, just, it's got yeah. rents and Gashes in it and yep. doesn't. Parts have been torn off. And, yeah. Um. Let me look that up. Quick, Amareth. And um. What else are you guys doing? I also gotta oh, t- pull t- out t- my bag o' rings. And as okay. he does that, I'm actually gonna pull out the your bag of rings. Shield, <laughs> the spear or javelin, whatever it was. Yep. And the actual the potion or whatever unlabeled bottle that I found. Yes. On the mage. Yep. And the rings, but I'm going to hold on to okay. the rings, obviously. You're going to... As in, you're not going to pull them out, or what? No, no I'm going to pull them out, but if okay. someone tries to take the potion or the rings, I'm going to, like, smack their hand and say, Hey, us first. No. <laughs> no. So, you can have so okay. I'm, I'm so you this. guys you guys basically pile everything. Do you all pull out the money you found, or what do you... No, no, I um, I found the money, so... Off. I didn't either. I don't say anything about the money. Well, I know that Caban took money, but I don't yeah. have. I don't ask him to pull it out. Okay. Um, like so we talked about it earlier, Amareth. Um, I guess now is ah, no better yeah, chance yes. than that. Okay, so uh, we're at the world map. Um, but I'm going to cast. Or uh, well, detect magic. I'll just say it out loud. It's whatever. I'm going to cast detect magic, but towards okay. Arn in the direction of where the centaurs are staying just to, you know, kind of get that full array. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Multitasking it. Yeah. So, so you cast Detect Magic uh, 60 foot cone shape. Mm-hmm. And you're looking at the pile of stuff. 
And yes. do you want me to type this to you, or are you type going to... Type it to me, please. Okay. That whisper. While he's doing that, I tell, I tell Caben to line up the rings. Okay. Um, I kind of... From the rings I, I have in my bag, I kind of separate the shoddy ones to the sure. to the good ones, yep. and then kind of also... Uh, the ones that Oren put down? Yeah, take a look at them, do the same yeah. thing. The shoddy ones and the fancy ones. Actually, I don't know if we've done it, um, but since I've still got both of them on me, I'm actually going to put the two CN rings down as well. You did not have both of them, because I know I took mine back. I, I, and, and I, I have one of them. them. Yeah, I think I like have. He gave Dorita me, I didn't Amrish actually... Have one each. No, I yeah, mentioned that gave... I took it back. I made sure to oh, mention like... that. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. I was yes. like, <laughs> Ben asked them back. It's not like I'm going to do anything with them, but I was like... Eh. And, I showed, and I showed somebody recently the CN ring, so I don't think... I think I still have it, so... I just yeah. didn't trust you well, to hold on weird. to it, so I took it back. Okay! <laughs> we take those we gotta... put them in the good pile. Yourself. And okay. I'm going to be very more specific about that in the future. <laughs> All right, and Amareth and also Durian, I, I assumed you assumed this, but that's in addition to other magic stuff that's glowing. Like, you know what the Rod of Ice looks like. You know yes. what various potions that you kind of, you know, have on yourselves. So everything I've told you was in addition to that. So what do you guys say? Yes. Durian says some of these rings are magical. Okay. Um, and I found these in a cobalt-sized tent. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a few select rings and show them to Kaven, saying that these are the ones that I found that, that look like they would be something magical. Um, as for Arn, what did you put down again? Did you, down did you read that? Yes, I did. Okay. Is it a spear or javelin? I'm confused. It was a short spear. A short spear. And a potion vial or something. Or some vial of unknown liquid. I have no idea what the hell it was. So I am... Um... So I'll, I'll mention to Arn that none of his things seem like they're magical at all. They just seem like normal items. Orin, did, did Orin put down um, rings in the pile too? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I am... Um... Did uh did Amareth from what I remembered seeing before did Amareth I guess I haven't seen them all laid out so I I do another detect magic over the pile of rings. Do you have another spell? I think I, you do. I have, you I, you used it earlier. Amareth has, has the magical four, four, picked up in her hand right I, now. He's a spontaneous caster. Um oh, yes. You can. I have three okay. per day and I've done two detect magics so far. And you I think have that's my, more than three. No, that I can cast. I have no six, but I can cast three per day. Other way around. Huh? Uh, you can cast... Detect Magic is a zero uh, level spell, and mm -hmm. you can cast... Oh, that might not be updated. Um, let me actually look at something quick. Is he level four? Yeah, you're level four. No, 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 you're right, three per day. Um... And I didn't. I okay. So I'm remembering back in the last section. You, you I'm, use I'm ghost pretty, sound. You're out of spells. Okay, so I'm out of spells. I'm out of zero level spells. That's fine. Yep. So I am. Um, I look at the rings. I asked. Okay, so I asked Amrith. I say, are these all the magic ones? Yeah, I only I, pointed out like two or three that look like they seem to be magical, and so, I picked them out of the pile of the ones that that were laid out. However many there were. Correct me well, if I'm wrong. I have another one level spell or level one spell, Travis. I used yes. hideous laughter today, but I have not used charm person or identify, and I could do those. Uh, yes, yes, you could. I tell um. J just wait. I think you can give up a higher level spell slot to use a lower level spell. You, I, Let I don't want to do that. Okay, I already That's asked fine. everybody. That's fine. DM hacks. No, no, I'm. I, I'm I need to I'm look kidding. this up. To see if you can do DM it. DM does it once. He's god. It, it's possible because I, I don't know if it's possible normally, but I know that you have to use some of the feats. So I am. Um, Continue. So okay, so I need a pearl of at least of at least one gold. One hundred uh, gold. One hundred gold value. Gold value. Crushed and stirred into wine with an owl yep. feather. Yep. That's so weird. Do I have those components? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> no. 
So you I need tell... to buy those specifically. Okay, well, I know I have other components just because yep. we never like driving. So I say to the party, I say, um, I have some. Uh, I could do some spell casting once we reach town to identify the properties. And I look at Orin and say, to perhaps more accurately identify the properties of these objects. We can even, if we're in town, we can get them appraised by someone yeah. that's skilled at it, at least. Yeah. I am skilled at it. I just haven't shared it with you guys. But more you skills than are? you, perhaps. I can tell you what exactly the rings can do. Well, uh, well okay. we're well, waiting, that, uh, Mr. Green. I can't do it without some more materials. The ways of the arcane are very mysterious. You wouldn't understand. Uh, I uh, would. Well, no, you would understand. You understand like prayer and like ho hum, ho hum, and all that. False. I could wait. understand this. Wait, wait, wait. What's I not can. Good I, I I look at Amaran and say I can identify the properties of these items. What do you well, need, what Dorian? What do you need from us, Mr. Dorian? I need items of value. I need something of value to expend. Uh-huh. Okay. In yeah, order um, to identify value. Do you mean you're going to go will. take money and pay someone to identify them? I mean that it is expensive to identify magic items, not because I'm going to jilt you guys or like bilk you guys, but because it takes something of value to learn something of value. Okay, so what? Uh, like you need actual something of value or can you just use money? I need a... I'm going to take some license here, Travis, if that's sure. okay. I, I need an item of a certain amount of value to consume. About a hundred gold, a hundred gold, gold of value. Well, it can be a, a well, gem. Do you have a hundred gold? I have hundreds of gold. Well, you then. have hundreds of gold. We all have hundreds of gold. We can all pitch in <laughs> and learn something. <laughs> it doesn't matter use, like, to me. When he says we all have hundreds of gold, we can use this new set of armor we found. That's mm. true too. That's, That's absolutely makes a very good true. Point. You guys are such a bunch of fucking hoarders. Travis, <laughs> 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 yeah, yes. Travis, I got a question. <laughs> We are yeah, Travis, yeah. but that's we we now have a re- see. This is the one little thing that comes up in a hoarder's life that justifies <laughs> their hoarding. So oh. also, Travis, I send you a whisper. Yeah. Can you okay. use uh, a set of armor, Dorian? The rings that Amrith picked up. Did mm-hmm. I notice any of them be the ones that I put down? I don't know. You what? Amrith. Repeat yeah, that. Sorry. I'm, I'm asking right because I put my rings next to Cavens when you were doing the whole thing. So no, you pick none up any of the ones. No, none of the ones that you put down seem like they're so I, like, so, like nothing you put down. So, Travis, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to praise the remaining rings. And, uh, and um, by the way, I got a message. We, we oh, with, um, the party. We, we need to end in a second. But yeah. Oh, yeah, true. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appraise um, the remaining rings, and if there's something I find of gold value that's or, or of a gem of some sort, I might try and use that. Uh, I but I want to do an appraisal check of the remaining rings that were not picked up by Amber. Hmm. Actually, okay. It's actually a good idea. What um, do you mean, use yeah. it like put it on and wave your hand about, or no, 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 consume no. it for magical dedication? So use it as my component. If I find something of a value enough. So, for example, okay. my material component is a pearl or, say, let's say, some sort of gem or gold of a at least 100 gold value. No, no, no. It's it's a pearl. Like, it's there's a... no ore. Oh, okay. It's a pearl oh. of 100 gold value. It has to be a pearl. Okay. It has to be a pearl. Not like a... You, I like, mean, you can crush up a sapphire and drink it and see what happens, but <laughs> it's not going to identify. It's not going to cast. It's going to hurt going somebody. down. Uh, sapphires are too too hard. Emeralds yeah. can crush up easily, well, but yes, they would. Okay, well, I I take a look at the remaining rings and I appraise them. Nineteen. And while he's doing this, I'm also okay. going to look at the rings that have the that and see if I can link any back to any nobility that I might know. What? I know knowledge and ability. Like, oh, I, was I tried it with the uh, CN range; it didn't work. But you are you no. are into the uh, you are into the whole uh, goblin nobility lines of. No, no, no. I, I said the non goblin made, as in like he ones that don't goblin made, like the rings of CN. 
quality type ones that are. 19 as well. Jeez, guys. All right. So cool. you're doing knowledge nobility. On yeah, the trying to see like the the really good rings that Dental Goblin made. Like you see, see, see link them. you see no indication of a marker of a lord or a noble that you recognize. Okay. So I um. <clears throat> I, I gather up the remaining rings that aren't, and I say, we know those are special. These, they're mixed quality. I might be able to get five or ten gold out of them. It's better That's than it. nothing. Yeah, well. It's, what about it's a start, but we should think about, I, I can... We you should identify I will, those other ones. I will tell you that we can apply the components necessary. Any other wizard that we may find or come across is going to also charge a similar price. It's not like the spell changes significantly. Mm. They just add their own rate on top of whatever it costs. And I, I, I can tell you that I just need a pearl of 100 gold value. That's a lot of money just to check these yeah. things. I mean, I already checked to see if they're magical. It's I, I like it. Oh, well, go ahead. It's, I look over at Amaris and say, "I didn't make the rules up of the arcane, all right? I just know what I know <laughs> and what I learned." That sounds cheaper than the wizards we ran into in Palatinus. Uh, that's because they're running shops. Yeah, so I'm saying it's oh. it's cheaper to have to fork over 100 gold and have Durian do it. You know that axe that we found? Oh, maybe oh, I got off that. Maybe the rings we can use them. Uh, Oren, I, um, I may have lied to you and didn't have, know how to do this spell at that time. No, no, I mean, um, it's just when I went to sell it, the guy sent me to a wizard, and I didn't have to pay a single cent for getting a check, so. Because they split the cost when they, they sold, they took an axe worth far more than you got paid for it. Ah, probably. Good point. Oh, well. Um... I thought I just mentioned, like, if we go to sell it, they might, you know, they might take a little bit out of their own. We might not have to worry about it, per se. We're not selling the magical rings. We're going to find out what they are. Yeah, you know what I mean. How many rings are there, Travis? Uh, there are 22 in total. Holy shit. How many, is it? Yeah, yeah, how how many are you holding that, that are magical? Uh, what, sorry? How many there are, are you holding that are magical, magical rings? Uh, three of them. Three of them. Three what of them are magical, Travis? That's what Amareth says. What are these, Amareth. uh... I'm a... Three. Yeah, looking at these three, three. What, do they look, what do they look... Are they anything special? Do they have symbols on them? They have gems on them? Yeah, I ca we, we all <laughs> kind of, like, lean over the rings and look at them for a second. Well, I mean, I you like... guys had them all in front of you. They looked yeah. Yeah, but we didn't the same. They're, I'm not gonna I mean, ask... there's ones that are... I don't want to ask nice Travis a description for 24-odd rings we found. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Travis, describe <laughs> every single one of these rings. Okay, well, the first one is a silver ram's head that's actually quite well made. Uh, Durian, you identified as probably dwarven make. Um, the second one is roughly hewn gold, inset with a slightly shiny stone, obviously goblin or kobold made very big. I'm not actually going to fucking do this, guys. <laughs> of, no, the okay, so of the magical Find three, a bunch of rings. We, we rewrap yeah. this up, and I, I finish by sure. telling the party I say that because I think we got to call it a night, but I say to the party that we're going to... Any cost we put in, and I will gladly put it in because there's great wealth in these. If these are magical rings of any pat value, they're worth far more than the pittance it takes to identify them. I'd be willing to help put in the share, even though I don't have much gold. Well, I suppose we can figure this out when we get to town then. Yeah. yeah, it seems like we so found let's... something good. And some pretty disturbing news. Well, yeah, mm. unfortunately. Disturbing news. But that's yeah. at least not, not right in front of us right now. That's a good thing. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Get the fat dragon! Disturbing news! <laughs> 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 Alright, so you guys had to take off then? Uh, well, I mean, uh, we've, we've got 
a couple of us got work tomorrow morning, so yeah. so do I. Yeah. Hopefully, oh, well, I mean, possibly, <laughs> possibly. I hope it snows. I so hope it snows. <laughs> DC slash yeah, Arlington is supposed to get like six inches. So you're lucky. I can't I'm stress hoping. enough. Shut up, you Australian. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even in your winter right now. <laughs> exactly. That's why you said goddamn lucky. I'd kill for winter right now. Uh, okay, so, um, cool. We'll wrap it up there as you guys are kind of appraising uh, things and discussing uh, dragons. And um, if we keep doing this, I'm going to say things in the open more and we'll just role play you guys not knowing because this is a lot yeah. of freaking notes to pass back and forth <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there are some funny role play moments that no one even realizes because I know we're I know. not it's saying like, them out it's, loud it's, but it's entertaining for you Travis it's very entertaining for me but I want people to that are watching to also laugh along uh, with me. Well, what's what's funny is, you know, um, we were talking about, um, when we started the show up, or before we did that, we were talking about um, uh, Stephen Lumpkin and the role-play R&D mm -hmm. show that we're watching, right? And one of the things that he said that was pretty striking is that the guidebook for one of those systems says um, if the, the goal of this system is that if your players are not making the DM have a good time, then it's being done wrong. So, <laughs> Yeah, no, you guys are making me have a good time. I'm just, uh, there's a lot of info here that's not being put on the video. So We can we can be more open with it. I, yeah, exactly. I, I kind of I kinda started, I kinda right. started this trend, but I can, I yes, can get to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we'll... Right. Uh, no, metagaming, I, it's fun. Yeah, I kind of want to reveal. So I kind of want to reveal can. what all happened, but we'll we'll start that next uh, next session because I don't want to give too many things away at the end here. Yeah, we'll take some. Yeah. Two, I don't I don't know if you're doing it now, but we can always scroll up and take some notes on what we what was whispered to each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like last yeah. session, I know that Amrith and I had a whole whispered conversation. Yeah, we did. About like, oh, should on. we flee or should we not flee? Should we leave these guys? <laughs> that, if you're, you're going to do that, though, do that on camera. Sure. Yeah. Do, do yeah. that on camera. Okay. It's more, Sorry. It's more, it's new, more th new DM rule. No whispers. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. No unless, whispers. Unless, unless I tell you to DM roll. Okay. So, okay. So that's, that's cool. No we whispers allowed. So no DM whispers. And then no metagaming. And yeah, no, no metagaming. Yep. That's why I was constantly yelling, what the hell was taking so long? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We're learning as we go. So, cool. We will pick up next week then with uh, mm, a horde of loot. Actually, is it next week? Or is it... No, no, no. Uh, can, do Wednesday. Are we able to play not tomorrow? Uh, Jimmy, you're muted. Not tomorrow, but um, day after. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Yes, Wednesday, not Thursday. Yeah, or Wednesday, Josh's Thursday. Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I was looking at the stream. I don't think you were necessarily talking. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so, so everyone's cool. good for Wednesday at 8 p.m. and we'll play a full session? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. Wait. All right. Get the kill dragon. Wow. I'm up for it. Well, well I don't think we're gonna kill dragon. Dragon. You're getting way ahead of yourself there, buddy. <laughs> like, to the dragon, we must kill the dragon. Oh, man. I, I always get excited when a dragon gets introduced into any campaign I play. Yeah. Oh, snap. But, so, uh, by the way, guys, I think it'd be really cool for Durian, this is outside the game, but since we're done with whispering, I'm going to let you guys know that I'm thinking about introducing, like, a little bit more instability as a result of his near-death experience. His... Are you gonna have like a split personality and be like schizophrenic? <laughs> not like <laughs> not like that. But let's just, really let's just say that that his that his outlook is a little bit more grim, or that's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see how it plays out. I'm gonna yeah. kind of play it by ear, but like I think uh, I I think he trust maybe is a little bit less forthcoming, or we'll see how it plays out. Like I said, we, we but kind that of has saved you. No, I know. It's not about like that. It's more that just What you out. need to do is you need to become closer to our Lord 
Quirrell on the Rethian. That's <laughs> that is what you need to do. Save this for in game. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> I know. Let's make this a wrap. All right. For yeah, let's uh, let's call it a night here, and we will reconvene in a couple of days. Yeah, boy. Okay. And then we'll see what hits the windmill. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <Jen. laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks, I everyone. I actually got that reference, so you know. <laughs> nice. Yep, thanks everyone for coming out to watch us, and please join us uh, on Wednesday where we continue the tale and hopefully find out some interesting things. Yep, mm -hmm. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Okay. Eastern? Eastern right? Standard Time. Yep, yeah. 7 p.m. Central, what is that? It, it's 4, 5, 3, 5, 5 p.m. Something PST. Australia Time. I don't 11 know. 11 a.m. Australian Time. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys then. then. Later, guys. Thanks again. Bye, guys. Yep. See you guys later. Oh, that was a good session. That was good. Short one, but we got some stuff done. You guys, yeah, are, you guys are so damn, uh, damn greedy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, I like it's the new funny. Rule. It's really funny. Well, yeah, greedy. I, greedy I about what? <laughs> I guess we'll see. <laughs> well, but we only like turned into like ring race because we're greedy bet rings. Yeah, it's it's funny because you're all lying to each other, and it's just great. Oh, but at, like our viewers what are is going all, on? Your viewers are, or the viewers are all missing it. So. I know. I've thought I've thought about that. I can tell you. I'll bring it up again next session in a couple days. But <laughs> yeah. but I will say that I I lied about the value of the rings that I just yeah, appraised. I was, I even oh, more under that was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're worth. I mean, they're not worth that much more. But I was just thinking that Durian would skim some off the top. So he said they're worth some gold, but they're worth like fifty gold. So right. uh, some of them. I've got a, Like I've got. I put way too many rings in here. But the, actually, the one kobold was wearing literally a ring on each finger, and was just <laughs> I didn't see, see. I actually was not the liar a lot this episode. I didn't lie. Oh. Uh, I, didn't lie I didn't lie anything. Lying, withholding true. information. Potato okay, potato. well, I didn't tell about the, like, the appraisal, but other than the stuff, in terms of what I got whispered from you, I revealed all of that. Except that I had figured out that Orin and Caven had magical items on them well before they it came up, but I just... Mm -hmm. I got I magical items? Well, the we'll, rings. Find out. we'll find out next session, I guess. Oh, the rings. Just the rings. Um, the rings!